What's up everybody? This is uh, my BB gun. Uh, it's a Gamo. The veloc silent cat velocity is 1250 feet per second. Regular Crossman 760 that you pump up, they go about 700 feet a second. This is 1250 and it's a brake barrel. You just break it, you put the pellet in there and you shoot. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna see if one of these things will go through this propane tank. It's pretty, that's pretty thick steel. It's empty, of course. But my brothers used to shoot these with when, with a 22 when they were full. Things would spin around and go crazy and it'd be cold. And then I found this fire extinguisher. When I moved in, I don't think it even works. No, I can't even push that down. Uh, I don't think it works, but it's aluminum or aluminum uh, case, it'll go right through that darn thing. But there's a squirrel over there I can shoot, but I'm not going to shoot squirrel. So, and I got these pellets. <clears throat> these are pointed pellets. I have those. I have some uh, crossmen. This is a 177 caliber. You can get 22 caliber, but they travel slower. And then I have just some rounded pellets. I'm going to try these uh, the red tip ones first. So let's go set up down range and take a crack at it. And I put a dent in the darn thing. A pretty hard dent. Let's try a different pellet. Maybe that, maybe that one was a little soft on the tip, the plastic tip. Let's try another one. Yeah, a little low on that one. There we go. Put a about the same size dent. Yeah, about the same size dent. I can't, I'm not going to be able to get through that darn thing, are I? All right, let's try that fire extinguisher and see what the hell happens to it, huh? Let's set this bad boy right there. I don't even know if it's under pressure. I should probably have to move this back a little and get a look at it. Okay. Did I get it? Yeah, dude, I gla gla grazed it right there. Huh. I didn't even put much of it in there. I, I didn't hit it straight on. Let me try to try that again. Yeah, got that right on. All right, wow. That did not put it through there. That, that must be thick. That's pretty darn thick. Yeah, it is. All right, let's try a different pellet. Let's see if you try to hit that thing straight on. There we go. Did it go off the other side? No sir, it did not. Oh, okay. It is a little thick. Let me... That's a little thick. Let me, uh... See how thick that darn thing is if I pry it out a little. Oh, that is... I'm gonna break my... My hickey-doos. Pliers and that is that's that's not that thick. I don't know what gauge that would be, but they're not under pressure anymore. So there you go. Well, let me try let me hit this sucker again. Let me hit this sucker again. See what happens. Huh? I'll hit it up here. We're a little rusty. Got that sucker clean over, didn't I? Man, there is no penetrating that. That goes in pretty deep. That's a pretty decent shot there. All right, there you go. All right, the one, the one that went through the fire extinguisher was one of these. It, uh, it's the, the pointed pellets by Craftsman. Ah, you can't even see that. I can probably just show you the picture on the darn ten. And it seems to be working. Work. Went through that, but didn't go through the other side. And I'm not good enough shot to shoot it twice in the same spot, so. All right, I mean, I originally bought this for chipmunks at, at my other place, and I got a couple, I've shot a couple here with this, and it it takes them out quite nice, and you ain't gotta worry about making noise or discharging a firearm within city limits, you ain't gonna get arrested for that. It's just a pellet gun, a BB gun. Now, if I had a BB, they're harder, would they go through there? I don't have any BBs. So, there you go. Maybe I'll do it in another video. I'll get some BBs and crack at it because they're harder and they might, they might penetrate it. So, well, anyways, we'll see you in the next one.